Oh, your mystery date. Oh, do I detect some jealousy? Me jealous? Ha! Double ha! Double ha! Who's Sorensen? This isn't going to be a problem, Mr. Detective. I mean, we're all professionals here, right? Actually, I'm not. Who's Sorensen? No, sir. Not a problem. Uh, Agent Sorensen, this is Richard Castle. The famous novelist. Six months. Six months what? We dated for six months. I didn't ask. Yeah, I know. You were not asking very loudly. I know, I'm like a Jedi like that. You requested your ex-girlfriend for the task force. That doesn't indicate to me a control of your emotions. I requested Beckett because she's the best in the city. Not because you wanted to see her again. How about you, Castle? You've written what? 20 bestsellers? <laughs> 26, but who's counting? Why the sudden need to shadow a real detective? Well, the ones on TV seem oddly fixated on their sunglasses. So with all the fat, balling detectives in the NYPD, you just happen to end up shadowing her? Must be fate. Run him down where he was all morning, who can vouch? Pretty clear it wasn't him. You a mind reader, too? Oh, come on, if he was your guy, he'd be downplaying his feelings for Teresa, not wearing him on his sleeve. A couple dozen bestsellers doesn't make you a criminologist. I also don't need a weatherman to tell me that the sky is blue. Oh, for God's sakes. Why don't you both just drop your pants and get it over with? I'm game. Look like quite a kiss. You jealous, Castle? Me? No. Though you have to admit, I was right. You are jealous. And I hooked her. What's there to be jealous of? You couldn't reel her in. We'll see about that. Nice guy. I can see how it wouldn't work, though. Really? Sure. Huh. Handsome, square-jawed, by the book. And that's a bad thing? Yeah, he's like the male you. Ying needs yang, not another ying. Ying-yang is harmony. Ying-ying is a name for a panda. Any more wisdom, Obi-Wan? Nope. That's it for today. What say we celebrate by going out for a drink? I can't. I got a date. A date? You date? Who? That's why it's called private life, because it's private. Unlike you, I don't live my life on page six. Well, you're a mysterious woman, Detective Beckett. Maybe there's a little more Nikki Heat in me than you think. Open door while I let myself in. I'm tired, boy. Need a drink. What makes you think your friend Hard Candy's gonna cooperate with you now? You have your sources, I have mine. Oh, it's not your ex-boyfriend, is it? Mr. FBI, tall, brooding, and judgmental? Why, yes, in fact, it is. Is that a problem? No, not for me, but then again, I'm not the one he's trying to get back together with. Apparently, Castle has a history with the bride. Ancient, modern, or sexual? Seems like all of the above. You okay with that? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Just keep me posted on the labs. Mm -hmm. Anything else? You tell me. What? Don't what me. Castle's lost love. Yeah, what about it? Girl, I'm gonna smack you. You work side by side every day. He writes a sex scene in his book about you that had me reaching for ice water. Now Little Miss Bride shows up. Don't tell me you're not the least bit jealous. Oh, please. You've been inhaling too many autopsy fluids. Honey, just because you can't see what's going on doesn't mean everyone else doesn't see what's going on. Shut up. Mm-hmm. Because I see it. We met in college. We were together nearly three years. I didn't ask. Yes, you were not asking very loudly. She's different from your ex-wives. What do you mean? She's real. I didn't think you went for real. I saw her last night. I know. What?
You had me under surveillance? Not you, Kira. Why would you have Kira under surveillance? She's a murder suspect. Oh, no, no. see, Sophie's murder was an isolated crime of passion. Watching Kira after the fact would be a waste of police resources, which we both know you would not do. I had to make sure that you didn't do anything stupid, which you did. We just kissed. That's all that happened. That's all that happened for now. Hey, the finance. Everything okay? Yeah. No. Okay. Thank you, Rick. He's all yours. Yeah, it's on the Ledger's top ten most romantic restaurants. It's pricey and impossible to get a table unless you know someone. Why? Just looking for a place to go. What, like on a date? Yes, on a date. Why do you sound so surprised? No, I, no, I just uh, never figured you for a Drago kind of girl. Really? What kind of a girl do you figure me for, Castle? I... Beckett. Oh, hi. Brad, uh... Uh, no, 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 it's not true last minute. Actually, my plans for tonight just fell through. Who's Brad? <laughs> mm. Must be Laney's friend. You know him? Yeah, met him once. Good guy. Fireman. Mm. Was in the FDNY calendar. Chiseled good looks. Rock hard abs. Oh, and get this. Once during a fire, after saving the parents and the kids, he went back in for the puppies. See you then. Did she just flip her hair? Uh -huh. I'm telling you, bro. Puppies. Okay. Guess them every time. Puppies. Bye. Yes, Mr. Maitland? What? Oh, great. You're smiling. Uh, thank you very much for your question. So? This apartment is pre-war, late 1800s. Oh, you see this molding? That's the original wood. Gorgeous. I bet the bathroom's at Marble Wayne's got it. <laughs> You're such a metrosexual. Yes, well, better than being a pinup boy. So you heard? And it's pinup man. Castle. Pinup man. Yes, well, have fun with your hose jockey whilst I go out with Nuevo York's most eligible bachelorette number three. Oh, I guess that means she must be slumming it, her being number three and you being a lowly number nine. Well, what number were you again? Oh. Ricky. Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you again. And you. Um, your table will be ready momentarily. Castle? Thank you. I take it you two know each other. Uh, yeah, Brad, this is Richard Castle. We work together. Uh, Amanda, this is Kate Beckett. We work together. Hi. Nice to meet you. Uh, what are you doing here? You knew that I was coming here. I knew you wanted to come here. I didn't think you could get a table last minute. You got a table last minute. Yeah, we've got connections. So do I. City health inspector. Wow. Nice abuse of power. So, Richard, you a cop, too? But no, he's a novelist who's been shadowing me on my murder case. Oh, I do a little more than shadowing. What have you got? Lab results came back on that bandage. Tested positive for formaldehyde, methanol, and ethanol. Embalming fluid. The lab found traces of formaldehyde at Grand Central and ethanol at the carousel. Our killer works at a mortuary. Or he could be a hospital employee or a janitor at a morgue. No. Castle's theory is more likely. Bring up all the mortuaries in the city. We've got over a thousand in New York City area alone. We can't hit all these before midnight. Can you cross-reference mortuary experience with criminal records? Our job finder groups are ex-cons. Yes. I can try. Six names. Mobilize the troops. I want everyone in disguise in our custody before midnight. I see what you mean about him being helpful. Thanks. No, no, no. Agent Shaw said we need to decompress. Nothing decompresses like a 2000 Chateau Neuf de Pop. Oh, well, Special Agent Shaw said so. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. I just see the way that you listen to her, the way that you look at all of her fancy equipment. Now my murder board's not enough for you. Now you need a smart board. Are you jealous? 
I'm not jealous. I'm just embarrassed the way that you act like a 10-year-old all impressed by her data matrix. Oh, it collates information so quickly, Agent Shaw. Tell me all about it. You are ridiculous. Oh, and then to top it off, you are now building theory with her. So? So you're supposed to be building theory with me. You're supposed to be on my team. Well, I thought we were all on the same team. We are. It's just... I think that if you have an insight, you should run it by me first. Fine, I will. Now drink your wine. So whatever happens, whatever you decide, Catherine Houghton Beckett, Catherine Houghton Beckett, will you marry me? Proposing. Okay, you're surprised. Of course I'm surprised. I thought you were breaking up with me. Are you offering you a ring? Well, you just, you seem so serious. Yeah, of course I'm serious. This is the most serious thing I've ever done. Oh, God. So that's a yes? No, wait. No. No, 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 not, not no. So yes. Castle, I love you. But this is my shot. And if I don't do this, I'll always regret it. Look, if this changes anything for you, if this changes the way that you feel... Kate, I'm not proposing to you to keep you here. Or because I'm afraid I'm going to lose you. I'm proposing because I can't imagine my life without you. If that means when things get difficult, we have to figure them out, then I'm willing to figure them out. Assuming you're willing to figure them out with me. Well, in that case... Richard Edgar Alexander Rogers Castle, yes. Richard Edgar Alexander Rogers Castle, yes. Yes, I will marry you. <sighs> Big. Oh, you just have remarkably tiny fingers. We're gonna be able to make this work, right? We're gonna be great. DC is gonna be great. <laughs> I promise.